morning, everybody. We're at Creative Mornings. And today's theme is one called End. So for those of you who don't know about Creative Mornings, globally, we all talk about the same topic every month. And today's theme was End, and it's from Creative Mornings in Rio de Janeiro, which is this lovely crew. They have better weather than us, so look like they do picnic versions <laughs> of Creative Mornings, which is amazing. We could. I mean, there's people with umbrellas and stuff, which is probably, probably not the look that we're going for. So this is a, a little manifesto that Creative Mornings is all about. I won't read it all, but basically it wants to bring us all together because everybody is creative and everybody is welcome, which is like the ethos that we live by around here. And the, and the, the ladies from Mainframe, Hannah and Charlene, Charlene is at the back, Hannah is this one, um, have been bringing all the creative people together. For, how long have you been going now, Mainframe, right? Well, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Just started. Just started. Only Tip of the iceberg. Ah. Tip of the iceberg. But um, so we're, we're really proud to add this edition of Creative Mornings into the Derby creative community and our wider East Midlands friends. Um, but we can't do this without our sponsors and our friends. So globally, we're supported by MailChimp. This is MailChimp, great little email tool. WordPress and Adobe, who give us some lovely design capability. Um, but more importantly, if I'm honest, sorry, Creative Morning HQ, but more importantly, we have... Oh, this is me, look. I made it onto a global thing. That's why that's in there, just a bit of glory. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, it's our local sponsors and our local friends. And, and Mainframe and Quad, which are here... We wouldn't do it without them, and we couldn't do it without them. And they've, they've lent us this amazing place and a cafe and a thing. So a massive round of applause with all of your might for Mainframe and Quad. Thank you very much. Woo. Woo. That was better than when everybody's here, by the way. <laughs> that was the best one. Um, and also, Future Proof Films, who are all at the back holding tech stuff. It's Proof Films! We, we've, now, we've now had confirmation from Ross, our speaker today, externally, that our videos are better than anybody else's videos. So this is all kudos to those guys. Thank you very much. Finally, Essential Print Service, Yvonne. Yeah. Woo! Just about, whoa! Who made... Look at these. Oh. Look at those. Look at those compared to the ones I did in the frames. Look at those. Amazing. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. So, the main event, the reason that you're all here and you've all dragged yourself out on a balmy July morning is to see this chap, Mr. Ross Davis. Yay. So, Ross, you're, woo. <laughs> well done, you get time, mate. You get the plaudits at the end, right? Um, so, Ross is a guy I've known, we've figured out since about 2012 this morning. Um, and he's, he's super smart and he runs one of the, the best businesses and is somebody I've looked up to from a business perspective for all of that time. So he's got some good words to say. His list of plaudits and achievement and awards are massive, but you can find them on our page. So please have a look on the flyer and read his, his uber long kind of bio now, full of awards and stuff, right? You did, were you? But anyway... Without further ado, let's get Ross Davis to the stage. Ross Davis, please. Are you back? It's down, right? It's hot, Mum. It's down. Right. Yeah, cool. Uh, hi, guys. Hope you're all well. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to randomly start my talk with, like, my end slide, which might not make sense, but the whole point is obviously to discuss the end. Uh, I'm going to try to break this down, so we're going to do the what, we're going to do the why, and then we're going to do the how. Uh, I'm going to try and make this as non-guru as possible, because I'm not. Uh, I'm just going to try to talk it from personal experiences of, of kind of what I, what I know. So like all good talk presentations, I did the really obvious thing, and I Googled it, and I wrote in uh, the end, define. And I thought that would probably be a relatively good place for me to start. Uh, 
And what I got was this very depressing thing that said a final part of something, especially a period of time, activity, or a story. And then the example that was given was the end of the year. Now, to me, this, this is incredibly depressing. It's not particularly fun. And I thought that might be the most boring talk that we could have for 20 minutes. So I'm going to try avoid that. One big thing that I try to have in my own life anyway is avoid any form of negativity, make sure that everything's positive. So I'm going to try to put a bit of a positive spin on it. So instead of looking at the, the, the end in a bad way and how it can be very final and how there's nothing that we can do with it and it's kind of the end, what I want to do is look at how I use the end in my own personal life and how we can apply things to that. So the part that I will be looking at it from is, a, I guess, from a, how I use the end to achieve my goals and where I want to go and put a very positive spin on it. So I'm sure this isn't just me, but this is definitely me still, and I try my best not to. But here's me in the middle, and I'm like, yeah, I should, I should be setting goals, and I should be planning things out, and I should know what my end is, or I could totally just coast, hope for the best, and we'll just crack on, and we'll see what happens, and all will be good. And obviously, life doesn't work like that. So... I want to talk about kind of goal planning or what the end is. Now, before I can move to the end, and this is where we get these kind of arrows all pointing in different directions. Um, now, before I know what the end is, I can't just decide what the end is because I don't know enough about it. So for me to figure out what my end is, I need to be doing lots of different things. Now, that means that my journey, I need to be on my journey, I need to be in the correct place. But before I can figure out all the right things that I want to do as part of my journey, I need to go back to the start. So we can start to see how all of these things are going to start interlinking in. So figuring out what's, uh, what, what we start with is going to be really, really critical. And the other thing is what is important to us. Uh, and I've just put in here as a warning, I'm going to be tightroping this thing of coming across as a guru, and I'm not in the slightest. I'm essentially making this up based on my life experiences. So apologies. Please try to take it in a, in a nicer way. So we're going to go... I said back to the future, but back to the past. But we're going back.